Hey, hey, boys and girls. My name is Biv. We're going to have great fun today learning about how cartoons and movies work. It all centers around a concept called... Persistence of Vision. Oh, man, that hurts. I hate it when that happens. <clears throat> okay, I'm fine now. We begin with the human eye. Our eyes are sensitive to a very narrow band of frequencies within the enormous range of the electromagnetic spectrum. This narrow band of frequencies is called the visible light spectrum. Light enters the eye through the pupil and strikes the inside surface of the eye known as the retina. The retina is lined with a variety of light sensing cells known as rods and cones. The rods on the retina are sensitive to the intensity of light and the cones are the color sensing cells of the retina. When light of a given wavelength enters the eye and strikes the cones of the retina, a chemical reaction is activated, which results in an electrical impulse being sent along nerve to the brain. And boom, we see in brilliant color. How do we see different colors, you ask? Well, as you can see, I'm on a particle of light Light travels from its source at almost 670,000 miles per hour. If light was driving a car, that'd be one heck of a speeding ticket. <clears throat> anyway, as light zooms along, it moves in waves. These wavelengths make up the visible light spectrum. When light comes in contact with an object, the different wavelengths either are absorbed or bounce off. The ones that bounce off travel to our eye, and that's how things have different colors. Okay, now we got the science stuff out of the Let's way. Let's talk about cartoons and movies. Movies that we see in the theater are shown at 24 frames per second. A frame is a single image, like a photograph. That means every second you watch a movie, 24 images go into making that second. Man, there's nothing here. I guess it's time to talk about cartoons then. In cartoons, moving characters are often shot on twos. That is to say, one drawing is shown for every two frames of film, meaning there are only 12 drawings per second. Let's look at those 12 drawings. Wow, this is boring. Let's speed it up. Wow, that's better. Still boring though. As you can see, it looks smooth like real life. The drawings are being shown so fast that our brains can't keep up, so it fills in the rest. That's the essence of the persistence of vision. Check this out. You can make your own simple animation by creating a flipbook. Once you're done, you can see the miracle of the persistence of vision yourself. First, wrangle your supplies. Blank index cards, markers, and a big clip or staple to hold them together. Take one index card and make a drawing. Then lay another card over it and trace that image. This time, change your drawing a little bit. Keep doing that till you have a lot of different drawings. Now, stack them together and try flipping them. If it doesn't look right to you, make more drawings. When you're done, you'll have your own flipbook animation. Most cartoons are made by computers today. Using software and graphic tablets to draw your favorite shows right into the computer. Here, an animator using a program called Toon Boom to animate a character. Say he looks familiar. Well, that's it for me. You kids get out there and make your own animations and movies. Bye bye.